It'll show you exactly the order in which you want to put the wire. Hey guys, Brad here. Today we're going to take a look at Klein's pass-through connectors for RJ45 and CAT6 wire. Now, these are really great. It's such a step up from the old style where you just kind of insert the wires at the end and hope your crimp is gonna be good. This, physically, you can see the wires coming through the clips and you make your crimp and you know you're gonna have a solid connection every time. So I'm gonna show you how to do this crimp, just kind of explain some things about the crimper that you need to buy if you're gonna buy these as well. So let's get to it. The actual fitting is right here. Super small. Now, this is a cat at six wire. I've already cut it and I've pulled all the strands apart. Now, if you do buy these, you want to get yourself the Klein crimper as well. Now, this thing is great. It'll show you exactly the order in which you want to put the wires, which is really handy because then you don't have to always refer back to maybe your phone or a piece of paper or something like that if you're not sure of the order. Because it's not just each blue, green, brown, all together. They do kind of intermingle a little bit in the order that you insert them. It's important to have this until you really sort of memorize it. There are two settings, sort of two styles that you can put this into your fitting. And we're gonna do the top style here with the solid brown and then we intermix with the solid green and then you can see the striped green goes in later on after the solid blue. That's what we're gonna do on this one. I'll show you the crimp, super easy. And this just sort of guarantees that you're gonna have that solid connection because there's nothing worse than putting on an end, crimping it, and then it not working. And then you gotta cut it and redo it. This is just eliminating that sort of guess factor. All right, let's get to it. So there's two ways to install the wire in here. You can do sort of a cheating way, which is you remove more of the sheathing so you have a longer length of wire and you insert each wire individually. The other way, which takes a lot of practice, but you kind of put all the wires together in the order that you want, and then you slide them all in at one time, make sure that they all come out the other end exactly right. So we're gonna do the first method just because it's a lot easier. We'll probably cut to the wires just sticking out because this is gonna take a little bit of time. Okay, so once we've got all the wires put into the proper place, then you want to use your crimper and you need this crimper for this to work. You just place it in the appropriate slot, slide it in just like this. And when I cut it, it's going to cut the wire off as well as crimp the fitting. It's just like that. Pull it out and that's the finished product right there. All the wires are crimped right into this fitting. It's sheared off at the end and we know we're gonna have a really good connection. All right guys, I hope this video really helped. Keep on crushing it and we'll catch you later.